Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Cameron Felix Garrison and I am everyone's go-to consultant on how to live your most effortlessly fabulous lifestyle. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my designer hater blockers collection, darling. All of my designer sunglasses. Um, I have I think a 10 or 11 plastic or acetate pairs and like nine or 10 metal pairs. They're in here. If you are interested in videos like these, luxury content related to beauty, fashion, and obviously lifestyle, subscribe, darling. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up because you're going to enjoy this video, honey. So before you get your panties in a wad, let's get on with the show, dear. Go. So when I was coming up with the concept of designing this um, dressing room, glam room or whatever, I knew that, well, first of all, my sunglasses, I spent a lot of money on sunglasses and I always have, okay? So I knew my sunglasses had to have their own area. Um, at first I thought, oh, I'll get these little doo-doos things and I'll display them here. As soon as I got this island, I ended up being like, man, they're going inside. Well, I ordered the wrong size drawers, didn't really measure or think about what size was going to fit anyways, or organize, drawer organize, sunglasses, sunglass trays, drawer organizers, something like that is how I found them on Amazon. Anyways, I came up with a great concept um, and I like what I have. So I have my sunglasses here and then below I have the cases. Um, and you see the little light that came on, right? Okay. And the cases are all here. Um, and there's another shelf down there. Uh, I did insert the lighting myself, ma'am. Uh, but there is another shelf down there where I have just bits and bobs. These came in this year, y'all. My Boucheron. Oh, I can't wait to wear these this summer. I haven't worn them yet. But they're still... They're still doing it. Boucheron. Boucheron is a high jewelry brand from France. <laughs> it is a high jewelry brand from France um, that has a novelty sunglasses line. And Mama had to have a pair. They're clear around here with gold trim. It's an aviator, honey. It's fabulous. Tea. I didn't know what Boucheron was until Bling Empire. And you know the girl that's on there, Jamie XIE, is from this here YouTube, darling. She is why I like am obsessed with luxury unboxings. Like she has the most iconic luxury unboxings ever. She did it at Hermes Hall with her father. That was like two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, you bitches could never. Now she has her own Netflix show. And Boucher Burberry. These are my triangular Burberry Aviators gold um, hardware. They do have a beautiful, let me get up close so you can see. I hope it focuses, bitch. A beautiful black around the lens. And then the back. Obviously, it says Burberry with the tortoise or Havana arm piece. I'm obsessed. I've only worn these a few times, um, but they are fabulous. And I am so happy to have these Burberry sunglasses in my collection. A, B, C for shut now. These are my 18 karat gold round Chanel um, mirrored sunglasses. They are fabulous. <laughs> These really don't need an explanation, do they? Um, I'm trying not to give you guys a reflection so you can see them really good. They're great. You can't buy these anymore, I don't think. Good luck. Well, these ones are 18 karat gold. I think if you can find them, you can find them in 14 karat gold. I did have to pay to get the lenses replaced in like 2018, I think. Um, whatever. I have these glamorous 
Chanel sunglasses that I purchased pre-loved, obviously, because I don't think I had two pennies to rub together, let alone enough to afford a pair of Chanel sunglasses. Uh, shock now when these came out. Anyways, um, I got these in, I think, 2017 or 2018, something like that. Um, they're brown. I mean, I didn't... I look pretty good in these, actually. <laughs> um, they remind me of, like, the Lauren Conrad era. Um, they are quilted on the sides with gold Chanel Avi. Love these. Yeah. The Dior Camp in matte black with the black gray lenses. Uh, Laylee Mears that had these, so I was influenced by her to buy these. Again, <laughs> Dior Camp in gold with the blue lens, darling. Um, these. I mean, elevated. Matte green with black lenses. <laughs> Oopsie, I have a problem. These got a little stretched out, so they need resized, but whatever. Oh, wow, they look crooked, don't they? Wow. That's why you don't let people touch your stuff. I got to get them fixed. But anyways, these are matte green with gray lenses. You know about these matte blue with gray lenses. Dior Camp, of course. <laughs> Again, influenced by Laylee Mirza to buy Dior sunglasses. Dior Monsieur number two. Love these white trim tortoise or Havana goldish or champagne gold, I guess. Fabulous. Somebody commented on my TikTok or one of my videos that these glasses were made, my TikTok, that these glasses were made for my face. And I want to thank you for that comment. I'll actually try to put it in here. A little bit of Dolce and Gabbana, darling. A little Dolce for the people. Is it focusing on me? Um, Dolce and Gabbana, D&G by Dolce and Gabbana. I think these are from like 06, 07, 08, something like that. Um... Yeah, these were in my last video for sure. I know the Chanel's weren't in my last video. I still have the case for these. I don't have the case for the other sh for those Chanel's. Um, I have another case that I used um, that I picked up from the actual Chanel boutique. Um, but anyways, yeah, these I got when I was in like I don't even know. Definitely high school. Mid like yes, I was wearing designer sunglasses back then because I had contacts. And baby, we need to protect the eyes. But anyways, these are fabulous, and these are giving you those, uh, the Balenciaga vibe that Balenciaga is throwing at all of you right now. Um, you couldn't catch me dead in these meth head hater blockers, um, today, I don't think. I'd have to be, like, fucked up to wear these out in public, honestly. But yeah, don't you combine I won't get rid of them. A bit of Fendi, darling. Aren't these fabulous? Um, these definitely did make it in my last video. They're blue. They actually look great with this outfit. I should show you guys my OOTD. By the way, J. Crew, J. Crew, you know. The shoes, Avi, Doc Martens, made in England, sweet pea. The nails are still bubble bath. Regular David Yearman, Tiffany & Co. Get the fuck into it, okay? Topped off with a Fendi. Maybe I will go somewhere today. I had no plans on leaving today. I just got glammed up for you bitches, okay? Um, anyways, these Fendi sunglasses, I got these from shopgoodwill.com. I bought them because I was going to a EDM concert in like 2018 or 19 in Richmond. Um... And I found these and snatched them right up, sweetie. You like? 
They have the case. Oh, did I showed you guys the case in my last video. If you would like to see the case that um, came with these glasses, go ahead and watch the last video. I'll link it below, sweetie. So next, a little more Fenzy, darling. You remember these? I had these on the channel a couple months ago. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but they have like this opening here. I think it's so fabulous. Yes, bitch, I can see you. You can see me. We see each other. Who knows what that's from? Anyways, um, they have gold trim. I saw these actually in a more um, rectangle version that are floating around on the internet. And I'm debating getting them, but their price is so nasty, honey. No thanks. I'll stick with these ones. My first pair of Gucci glasses, darling. Oh, my. I got these in, like, 2018, probably. Did I think I was the shit or what? Anyways, um, woo wee! I had just started working in the skincare industry, honey, and I was the I and the T. My skin was fabulous. I had these glasses on. I was busy as fucking ever. Um, yes, big frame Gucci, fabulous. These don't need any explanation. I mean, look at that. These are good for. I wore these to like a really good St. Patrick's Day party. I used to always wear these out. I used to wear them to the beach. Shh. I kind of fucked them up by wearing them to the beach, but that is here nor there, honey. Anyways, these Gucci's are one of my favorites. I wore these damn things into the ground and I would still wear them if I needed to. <laughs> Love them. On to the next. More Gucci, darling, of course. Yes, I love these. I know you saw my last video. I got these for the Pharrell something in the water. The original something in the water. I'll play a little, little TikTok video of my first video. Something in the water in Virginia Beach. Fucking fun. Anyway, so the second year was COVID and I bought these to go because um, I could, bitch. No something in the water for me, um, but I got a little Gucci instead. Oh, you guys know about these bad bitches, honey. These are giving, you know, look at that jawline, honey. Um, these are my latest Gucci's. I actually think I got these in September. These were a wedding anniversary present these for our wedding anniversary we got married in 2016 and this was our anniversary this year in 2021 a gorgeous pair of gucci sunglasses my love right joss we like the gucci's huh gucci for garrison bitch if you didn't know that's why i'm obsessed with gucci and then you all know my latest and greatest, darling, edition, Max Mara. These are the Ands. I got them, of course, in this color as well. I mean, they're more than fabulous. Um, like, I just... Who, who do I think I am? Right? They are the I, the T, and beyond. It's giving grandmother doesn't work any longer, honey. She sunbathes, sips martinis at noon, and wears seersucker on the weekdays. Love them. These would have been good with today's outfit too, huh? These Ray-Bans, oh, wow. These are old as hell. I got these in at least 2014. Definitely. Fab. They're still fab. They still make some like these. And I'll actually pull up a picture of my other Ray-Bans that my husband lost in France or Greece or somewhere. 
these Ray-Bans that are velvet or something. Yeah, velvet. They're fucking trashed. I used to wear these um, in Florida when I lived there. I got them when I lived there. And I would fucking frolic in the pool with them. Um, I have them in a green color too, but I don't know where they are. Love them. All right, y'all. And my last pair of sunglasses, in fact, are Yves Saint Laurent. I mean, a brown line sunglass is everything in more. It's giving Princess Grace of Monaco on a yacht. You know what I mean? All right, everyone, that was my sunglasses collection. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. Um, I'm sure I'll collect some more this summer. Uh, I wanted to create this video before I did. I, I can't say that I don't need any more sunglasses. Um, I like what I have right now, and like I have a good rotation. Um, so I, I'm good. I'm very happy and I'm blessed. Darling, I come from nothing. Everything I have, I have worked for. So I don't need to apologize. I'm not bragging. I'm sharing with you the things that I have collected, honey. And that's all I'm going to say. Everything I have, I've worked very hard for. If you don't like it, don't watch. Again, my name is Karen Felix Garrison, ma'am, and I'm everyone's go-to consultant on how to live your most effortlessly fabulous lifestyle. Have a great day. Let's go, Jossie. Come here. Okay, have a great day. Time to have a great day.